Welcome to my channel. I am Miss Golden Locks, and by the angle of the clip showing a little bit of the desk, we're gonna tidy the angle up in a minute. It should hint what type of video we've got coming up, which is another cosplay video. Um, long overdue. As you can see, my assistant isn't here because they've gone off to Barbados, so that's especially why it's long overdue. But we've sort of managed to get around certain bits, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I should be able to do it all myself. We've gone for Again, fingers crossed, a simpler clause play. So um, what we'll do is we'll go through it step by step. Um, I did a poll on Instagram and everyone said to do the Yoichi cosplay. So we've got some bits here and hopefully we'll get that done. Um, Expo price is going up, so I'm not sure if I'm going to cosplay for Expo, especially if we're doing Yoichi. We'll see how this turns out before we even start talking about cosplaying at Expo. I'll definitely be at Hyper Japan though, but Hyper Japan I tend to go with more like kawaii type of Haru. Harajuku inspired type of outfits but we'll see what happens in this one so I'm gonna get the angle changed go through all the stuff that I have with me and if you stick around hopefully fingers crossed this turns out to be a pretty good cosplay okay so we've got the the desk showing so the longest reason thing that it took me for, to do this cosplay was because I didn't want to mess up the logo so I originally ordered some sheets where you could print on the sheet and it would print on the paper that you needed to and then you could iron it on and transfer it however my printer wasn't that good and sometimes it came a bit streaky so I didn't want to put the wrong thing so then in the end I then went and paid for a printed logo iron on so here we have the logo right here and then I think literally the week after my dad needed to use the printer realized it wasn't working threw it out and bought a new one so I still have those three sheets where I could print something out so you know we've got that we've got the beige material we also have a purple wig we're gonna have fun trying to stick my dreads into this and um, just a cheap one that was on eBay for like six quid or something like that I then also have some purple ribbon I have a white vest top because I think it looks like she wears like a, um, a a a boob tube type of style of top. So we've got this then. If anything, we can always like try and cut off the straps or, or tuck them in. And then finally, I bought just a cheap black jumpsuit off um, eBay as well because I didn't want to put too much money into it. So this was the only one that had the style where it was um, sort of like a halter neck style with no back. So it's got the um, bit around the top. Um, it does have some very uh, sassy straps at the back, um, but we'll deal with that. But yeah, just a, a plain black jumpsuit, just kind of like her one, which as I said, six or seven quid for this as well. So um, we'll see how the uh, logo transfers on this. So yeah, hopefully this one is an easy one. I think the most detailed part would be doing the arms and the legs because she has the sort of beige ruffles on the arms and on the legs so we'll just have a look and see so I think other than that this one should be pretty simple oh yeah and the ribbon in on that as well so um still no machine so we've just got to hand sew everything so this is going to be fun considering I can barely sew so let's just pull up the image there go. so I'll add it into the corner as well I think this image I got on DeviantArt which is slightly um different so um, if you can't see it in my phone, as I said, I'll put it on there as well. But yeah, there are a couple. This one, I think, came from the actual anime as well, which is quite cool. So yeah, purple hair. It's got like a beige scarf, beige on the arms. This one's beige belt as well. And then like sort of beige type of legging style thing as well. So I'm hoping I've got enough material um, off beige to get all this sorted. And I haven't done any measurements yet, so this is always going to be fun. You know how we like to wing it. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm going to do, we've got to do arm, scarf, and then two s sorts of leggings. So I think I ordered three metres of this. So I think the good thing is that on the um, picture it kind of looks ruffled, so it doesn't have to be exact. So if we sort of need something that will wrap around, uh, and then we need that twice. Oh gosh. Right, so actually, if we cut down here the whole way across. This will wrap around twice. You get more than two arms out of this. Okay, so we're making a start. Where are my scissors today? Alright, let's 
let's see if this should work. To be fair, it all looks similar to the base of your leg. It should be similar again. Right, let's do that once, twice, in the hope that it may work to knee length, if not oh, actually. Let's just do it the first time. Okay, oh my gosh, where, where is this? let's start this end. I've had some cord all through the sinuses, I caught a cold, it's been really bad and then with this heat as well, to be fair I do love the heat, I am a summer baby and from Barbados so I don't complain, however I just feel like I just wasn't ready for it, just snuck up on me and all of a sudden I'm hearing heat wave, but whew, I think we're finally getting better. Now, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up. I've had a couple of setbacks with my Elgato. I'm not really sure what's working and uh, uh, with my microphone. So it's not been working for myself because I was hoping to put up a Captain Toad video. So if that doesn't go up, then this one will. So we've still got a lot coming at the moment. I have two hauls coming and possibly another vlog as well and some more makeup stuff coming as well. Oh my God, see, you can hear it in my voice now. This weather has just not been respecting me or my hay fever. Oh. Okay, so this then, more than enough to wrap around, take our measurements, and then it should fit more than twice. Woo! Okay, let's cut this in half then, and we have the arms done. Woo! As I said, I'm hoping this is very, very simple to do, but we shall see. Last time I pretty much just spent the whole time cutting out uh, circles and stars. So, you know, right. <clears throat> I don't know whether to go lengthways for my leg just in case. I might make it like this has got too much material. I might make it a little bit longer. So, let's try and figure this out. Oh. Okay. more than half, let's see if it can go around twice, it does appear so, I am clearly very short, okay so, actually let me try it with the arm material just to make sure, which is already cut, so I can wrap this around, oh yeah more than enough material, oh, would it wrap around the leg, oh yes and it wraps around, oh wait we got a little extra at the top, oh it's a bit snug at the top, hmm, it just wraps around, although we wouldn't want it too loose anyway because it does look like it does fit quite snug. But I think this doesn't give us enough give at the top. Damn it, if only we lost just a little more weight. Okay, so in that case, um, rather than trying to force it, because we have a little gap at the top here, we'll just cut it lengthways and make sure we've got too much material rather than too little. Because if I start stitching this by hand, I'm not doing it all over again for the sake of a little bit of material so let's do this lengthways oh uh, yeah more than enough okay if we do it lengthways let's make sure that it's done twice so if this that one This folded in half should be enough. Oh yeah, that's more than long enough, and then the width this should be more than enough. So we'll cut this now as well.
okay. And then we've got all this material. We're actually having it this way might not be a bad thing to then wrap around and have for the neck piece. Although well, trying to stitch this in this ruffled form is going to be fun just to make sure that it doesn't move or anything. But I mean, to be fair, this has come out pretty good just as we folded it. I mean, putting the picture up right here and uh, hasn't come out too bad. Okay. So let's keep this in this ruffled form just so we can find some places that we might be able to stitch it to keep it how it is. And then this now, we just need to cut in half. So we've got two arm pieces and two leg pieces. Alright, I know I just started, but I haven't eaten for the day. And eating brain food, and especially where I'm on a diet, excuse the sweets taken out of my pocket, they're just here for sure. Go, go look at those. We have ham, turkey ham and egg salad, baby bells, and corn savory eggs and look, pineapple and peach slices. Real diet food, just excuse the sugar that keeps us going, but yeah, back to work. Right. And I wonder why cosplays take me three, four hours. See, look, that one piece of pineapple giving us all this power and energy. I can feel it through my fingers. I feel it in my toes. I don't think you can say one without the other line. Right. Whew. So we have two arms, two legs, and a scarf. And then, because we did it the way we did. We've also got an iron on print, so we'll see how well this works as well. So, ooh, let's get started. Oh gosh, threading needles and all sorts. Oh boy. Now, um, I think what it is is, let's see what might be the best way. Because it's, this needs to be sort of wrapped around, so it fits around the arm. But then it looks like there's a pur the purple goes around it. So, oh wow, this really is huge. Okay. Alright, we need it wide enough I can slide my whole hand in, but not too wide that uh, it just falls straight off. So I think this might be about the right width. Okay, yeah, and I should be able to slip my hand in and out. Okay, that's fine. So we we'll just need to somehow stitch the whole way along there. And then I think what I'll do is once I've stitched it whole, once I've stitched it in place, should I say, from there, I will then um, put stitch around the purple material afterwards. So that's all done. Okay, now. exactly um, fully there is a piece on the inside which hasn't been stitched um, as you can see just here which is the original piece so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch a bit at the top stitch in the middle and stitch at the bottom just to make sure that the inside doesn't unravel as well to fix that and then I think what I'm going to do is with the edge because as you can see we've got all the fray bits I'm going to tuck it in and do the same stitch a couple of pieces around just to make sure then that it's nice and neat as well. So we get all that done. <coughs> Excuse me. So then we have a nice neat sleeve then. And then from there it's just um, tabbing. I think what I'll do is do something similar with this. I'll stitch around 
the purple bit in sections and um, just sort of stitch to make sure it's fixed in place and it shouldn't move but I'm not going to stitch the whole thing as I'm doing everything by hand so I'm just going to do all that now and start at the top on this end so it doesn't look too bad on the outside then hopefully that bit will be tucked in anyway so it's not too bad because we're going to have a couple of these tabs when I stitch all the fray parts on the inside okay after hours and hours we have finally got one sleeve done at last so as I said I just stitched down the middle here um, there's a piece of material which started on the inside so I stitched the top the middle and the bottom if you can see the little bits of stitching and then all I did was I folded the top and the bottom in so that way all the free bits are missing so here we go so I've done one sleeve I need to do the other sleeve um, I didn't realize in all my material and stuff like that that I got some of it wrong so I have got material for the scarf I've got material for the waistband um, I've got some beige leg warmers that I forgot that I had ordered that hadn't arrived yet. So I'm going to have the beige leg warmers for the bottom half. Um, make my own arm pieces, make my own belt, make the scarf. And then it looks like there's a little head tie which I can make up the spare material that I have. So I'm just going to quickly do the second arm and then the belt and the scarf as well. And then hopefully iron on the pattern which should work as well. So we're just going to, you know keep on at it we've been at it for a while so you never know yeah opening one was the best first one done so I've just got the middle one and bottom one and then the tucking in at the top just to make sure it's nice and neat just like this one we have finally finished with both of them at last so i've got the two of them now and i think what i'm gonna do is rather than stitching it the whole way through i'm gonna take a piece of material and stitch the top of it so then when I wear it I can then tie it round so I think what I'm going to do is if I test it out so if I put it on get a piece of material put it in the middle so what I'll look to do is stitch the middle here and then when the time comes that I choose to wear it I can just wrap it round oh gosh wrap it round wrap around wrap around and then tie the pieces together at the bottom for the finished thing and here we have um, and then it's movable as well so it's not stuck so then we can alter it just to make sure that it looks cool so I think that's what we're going to do so I'm going to take middle of the purple and just stitch the top so it's attached at the top halfway on both sides so I'm just going to stitch that on the first one and do the second one as well with my purple string the ribbon on both of them so we have this then to tie around the whole way across for when we're wearing it so we've got the purple all sorted and um, next is the belt so 
because this is the end piece of the material thankfully this piece is all all together so there's no fray parts so what i'm going to do on the inside is the belt piece is long enough to tie around me so all i'm going to do is i'm going to fold over this piece to get rid of the fray parts and just put a couple of tabs stitch a couple of tabs across it just to make sure it's nice and neat and then what I'll have to do is at the back I, it ties together it doesn't quite cover the whole way around there is a knot in the back but once it's at the back it shouldn't be too bad so yeah we're just going to tab these pieces together and then that is that I think I'm just going to put through five or six tabs just across just to keep the free bits in but not too much that you can see the stitching okay so I have finished the waist piece so I just stitched the tops of it and then I've just left it so it can be tied together um, with the neck piece now what I've decided is because of um, it, it wraps around quite nicely all I'm gonna do is switch stitch nah, not switch uh, stitch the two ends together and then when I put it on, I can then ruffle it kind of like in the picture. Um, because in the picture, it's not quite like a set scarf or choke or anything like that. It's kind of ruffled and things like that. So I thought if I just stitch it together and then when I put it on, I can mould it. Um, then that will be that. So I'm going to stitch these two pieces together. Uh, I'm not sure. I might tab the top and the bottom. But if I'm going to roll it and mould it, I can just tuck that underneath anyway. I'm not sure if it will irritate me enough because I don't want any fray pieces sticking out. So I might tab the pieces underneath. And then finally, we'll be at the part where I just need to try doing the iron on. And then that will be that. So I'll be able to take a couple of pictures now of how it is. And then I'll try and get a couple of pictures once I get the leg warmers as well for the full look. So yeah, I'm just going to stitch this together. Okay, so here we have the neck piece all nice and finished. So that is most of the pieces done. So we've got the neck piece, we've got the waist piece. And we've got the two arms, so I'm just going to try iron it on. Okay, so I have the print, so you're supposed to peel off the back. So, oh gosh, I hope this works, I'm so nervous. I'm supposed to peel off the back, which has the grid on it. I've got the iron warming up as we speak. Oh, here we go. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. Ooh. Okay, right, let's put the print down. Oh, it's, it's rolling. Damn it, I took it off a bit wrong. Right, we put the print down, and then we're supposed to put the paper back over it. So I've got that covering it exactly. Put an old t shirt over the top. Okay, and iron on. I legit hope this comes out okay. Otherwise, number one, I've wasted five pound, and number two, my cosplay then would uh, all this work I've done all damn day today would be have would have been for nothing. Doesn't look like we've got all the corners. How long am I supposed to do this for? Where's the piece of paper? Oh, yes. Oh, let's see. Start ironing the image. Make sure all areas of the image receive the same amount of heat by moving the iron constantly in small circles and covering all the areas, especially the edges. Apply firm and consistent pressure. Oh, iron for about three minutes. How long have I been going for? Oh, boy. 
for an image a size a4 size once i leave the image to cool for about a minute and remove the silicone paper the image should be closely stuck to the garment if there's any areas which are not adhered to replace the silicone paper and do it for another hour, minute okay oh it's a bit wet oh damn it i wonder if i don't think that's supposed to be wet okay Oh, maybe that's it saying getting stuck. Okay, there's a couple of areas that aren't quite stuck. So. I did turn off the steam setting, so I don't really know what it's doing. But I'm going to turn it down again. Oh, no, I had No, I had not. Okay. That, that one's on me. Okay, let's go over this again. Oh no, the truck's still... Oh no, this is not working out on the corners. Oh damn it. I don't know why the corners aren't sticking down. Oh, none of it's stuck down. Okay. So this just isn't working at all then. Is it not supposed to be the other way? Huh? Is it not supposed to be the other way? No, it is this way, because it's supposed to stick on. Yeah. Are you not supposed to stick the, the pattern, flip it so the pattern's actually on the material? And then you're ironing over the top of the pattern for it to stick to the material. That's what I'm doing. No, where's the where's the pattern? This is it. Yeah. So is that not supposed to be touching the actual the actual clothing? It is. So the clothing's underneath. Underneath the sticker. Yeah. What's underneath the sticker? Nothing. I took the back off. Yeah. So are you not supposed to lay the pattern flat on the actual material? It you is flat. I mean? You see what I mean? No. So it's the other way. Because if not, the pattern's just going to be going onto that grease proof paper that you're ironing. No, the pa the paper, you need to put the paper on top to stop. The pattern's going to stick to the material underneath it. So the whole piece of square is just going to stick to the material? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to stick to the paper. You need the paper to stop it from sticking to everything else. <clears throat> So this paper is supposed to be transfer proof paper, so it doesn't stick to anything above it. up a little bit at the bottom it's going on oh damn it although some of the bottom images come off I think part of the problem is because it's not a flat t-shirt and it's got strings on the back it's sort of thinging because of the strings Now my iron's not clean. Well, this isn't going too well. But now my iron is sticking to my damn t-shirt. So I'm not too sure what to do right now. Gritty! Mm -hmm. I messed up the iron! The iron's now sticky! Say that again? The iron's sticky. Where? 
on the front. It doesn't look sticky, but it's like sticky everywhere. Because I tried to put the iron on the t-shirt and it just wasn't working. Because on the button, it has stuck down. Apart from one side, which is just this side here. because I think the steam wasn't off properly so I think that's messed up but other than that we have the Yorichi logo on the front so yeah we're all done what I'm gonna do this I'm gonna take some pictures and stuff like that and put them at the end of the whole cosplay but we are actually finished at last we have got all the bits needed so yes I'll pick I'm just not plugging you on. I'm gonna take some pictures but we have the logo on the front so um yeah i think i definitely messed up a bit with the um with the steam but yeah i'm gonna go over it probably one more time just to make sure um especially before washing it but yeah we're all done so i'm gonna take some pictures and thanks for watching this cosplay video and i will catch you on the next one i've got a lot of videos coming and i will see you later